Hi everybody, this is Nick Fugel from Makeatronics.blogspot.com. I want to show you my new setup here. What I've got is a new version of my smart BLDC commutator. This is version 2. As you can see, it's not perfect. I have a couple of resistors here that I had to add. This is a working version now with these added resistors. Version 3 has been ordered is on the way. Hopefully it'll work just the same as this modified version 2. So what I have here is a brushless DC motor, BLDC motor. I have added Hall Effect sensors as you can see under the rotor right here. Sensors are coming out along this cable to the control board. I have SPI communication plus another few other control pins going to an Arduino here. Multimeter measuring the amperage that the motor is pulling right here before I fire it up. Have the Arduino sketch. This is what is running on the master Arduino right now. The sketch. There is some code on the commutator as well. But if I start the serial monitor here you can see I was updating rather quickly. First column is PWM value on the motor. Second column is the position of the motor as read by the Hall effect sensors. That's a continuous position. If I rotate the motor around, I believe there are 66 pulses per revolution on the setup. Third column is velocity and RPM. I can come over here, turn this rotor here on this motor. You'll see if this thing will focus. There we go. As I turn the rotor, the position and the velocity update. I have a positive velocity and a negative velocity depending on the direction I'm turning. Let's go ahead and turn on the power here. This is just a computer PSU this handy little breakout board from Dangerous Prototypes taking 12 volts out of here through the multimeter and into the control board. On the master Arduino I have a potentiometer here. Right now I'm just doing PWM control. It's nothing fancy. I just turned the potentiometer and it sends a PWM to this motor. So. Let's start out, see how slow we can go. You can hear the PWM going in the background. So here, this potentiometer is a little finicky. It's hard to get something really slow. Do my best here. The resolution of the potentiometer is hard, but you can see I can go both directions forward, backward, and I can crank up the speed too just by twisting this potentiometer. You can see at full speed here, I'm drawing four and a half amps in the forward direction. If I reverse it, 4.9 amps in the reverse direction. It's a little unbalanced right now, probably because I haven't positioned the Hall effect sensors exactly correctly. Come down to stop. Let's look at the serial output here. Serial output, PWM first column, turn up the PWM. You can see the position updating in the second column. You're going in a more negative direction. You can see I'm spinning about 800 RPM right here with the PWM of 12. If I up that all the way, 3100 RPM. Reverse it, 3400 RPM. So that's, that's that. Simple PWM control. 
running my smart VLDC commutator. It is its job is to read when to fire which phase on the motor and to really relay the position back to the host controller. So that's it. This is the smart BLDC commutator from Mechatronics. Version 2 has some fixes. Version 3 is on its way to me to be tested, and if that tests out well, this is going to be available to anybody who wants it. Thanks.